Now I'd like to talk about the remote bottle opener. What I'm going to talk about is how it works and to make it work properly. Here we have the a 4AN remote bottle opener. Items that we're going to be using is a couple of crescent wrenches and some Teflon paste. Now that we've taken the contents out of the packaging, I'd like to go over a few things about it. If you notice, there's two fittings, your female and your male end of a 4AN. It's very important that you know that the female 4AN goes on the inlet side of your solenoid and the 4AN male goes on the outlet side of your solenoid. First thing we're going to do is apply a little bit of Teflon paste on the male threads of the female fitting. Then we're going to install the fitting onto the inlet side of the solenoid. Next, we're going to apply some Teflon paste on the male side of the 4AN fitting, put it on the outlet side of the solenoid. Then we're going to take a wrench and tighten up both fittings firmly on the solenoid. Now that we've installed the fittings on the solenoid, we're going to connect the solenoid to the bottle nut onto your bottle. Notice no Teflon paste is needed for this. With the solenoid mounted onto the bottle and the bottle located in the car bolted down, this is what your application will look like. Now that we've installed the solenoid onto the bottle, what I'd like to go over is how the solenoid works. This is a special custom solenoid for this particular application. This solenoid is only used for remote bottle opening. It's a double plunger. What happens is one plunger will come up, allowing a small amount of nitrous filling the line up. As the line is pressurized, it will open your second plunger, allowing full amount of nitrous to come through. So after your toggle, le at least wait at least 10 to 15 seconds before operating your nitrous system. This solenoid is good for a long period of on-time running, not as like your other nitrous solenoids. After you've activated your toggle switch, remember to allow 10 to 15 seconds before using your nitrous kit because it will take approximately 10 seconds to fill your feed line up and activate both plungers in the solenoid. Now I'd like to go over the electrical schematic of the system. The system is very easy. It's not complex at all. What you will do is you will take 12 volts from your battery, bring it to the power side of your toggle. Out of your accessories of the toggle, you'll run it to one side of your solenoid. Out of the other wire solenoid, you'll take it to ground. Your last terminal on the toggle switch will also go to ground. Your solenoid is a long time running solenoid. It only pulls two and a half amps. So it is and can be used for on time running for a long period of time. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, even up to an hour. Now I would like to summarize on the remote bottle opener. Always remember to when you toggle the solenoid open, wait at least five to ten seconds after powering your solenoid. Also, you're able to run the solenoid up to 30 minutes, even up to an hour, without burning the solenoid up.